Kansas basketball was indeed exciting in 1988 as the Bayhawks overcame a series of hardships to earn a berth in their fifth consecutive NCAA tournament. But it wasn't easy. Preseason expectations ran high among the Jayhawks faithful and media alike as several newcomers and the return of 1987 All-American Danny Manning made for a bright outlook. Practice drills began in mid-October with the Jayhawks displaying their wide range of on-the-court skills, much to the delight of a packed Allen Fieldhouse. From the moment the final seconds ticked off the clock last year, Kansas fans were eagerly anticipating another season of late night. Much of the anticipation centered around a solid returning cast, a group of talented newcomers, and the return of 1987 redshirt Archie Marshall. Toss in the widely respected coaching skills of Larry Brown and the thoughts of a trip to Kansas City in the Final Four were well on the minds of many. But if a trip to the Final Four was to be in the cards, the Jayhawks would have to first weather a rocky start. Kansas began the season in the tropical setting of the Hawaiian Islands, but the experience was anything but a vacation. The Jayhawks were shorthanded with sophomore Mark Randall and Sean Alvarado sitting out his red shirt and senior Chris Piper out with a knee injury. After an opening round win over Chaminade in the Maui Classic, Kansas could not overcome the shortage of manpower and losses to Iowa and Illinois. The return to the mainland saw the Jayhawks find the winning track as Kansas extended its nation-leading home court winning streak. A 94-38 win over Pomona Pitzer saw Kansas shoot a school record 75% and set the Big 8 Conference consecutive home court winning streak at 49. AU's six-game winning streak prior to the Christmas break saw a display of talents which earned the Jayhawks a top 20 national ranking. Included were national television victories over St. John's and North Carolina State. Against the Redmen, Danny Manning and Kevin Pritchard combined to blitz the visitors from the Big East Conference en route to a 63-54 victory. Manning showed why he's virtually everyone's choice for player of the year as he single-handedly shut the door on the Wolf Pack. Bolstered by a four-game winning streak, the Jayhawks flew to New York City to compete in the prestigious ECAC Holiday Festival. An opening round win over 20th-ranked Memphis State propelled KU into the title game and the rematch against St. John's. But the outcome of the contest became secondary as senior tri-captain Archie Marshall suffered what would turn out to be a season-ending injury. Marshall, who overcame a similar injury, suffered in the 1986 NCAA semifinals had been a starter in each of the Jayhawks' first 11 games of the season. Learning the moves is especially tough. The experts who manage the security funds are backed by 25 years of experience and performance, and over $1 billion under management. They'll work to provide you with the investment opportunities to meet your needs. The security funds will strive to help you reach your goals. For short and long-term business financing, we invite you to call Colombian National Scott Carr. Because Scott is a banker with a business background, he understands the need for prompt, decisive action on your business banking requirements. If personal, in-depth attention and prompt action is what you seek in a banking relationship, call Scott Carr today at Columbia National Bank and Trust Company, 820 Quincy Street, Topeka, member FDIC.
Before you sink some $20,000 into a new car, consider that a new Volvo 240 goes for as little as $16.25. And while settling for something other than a Volvo is bad enough, paying more for it is even worse. Noller Volvo, 29th in Kansas, Topeka. Mop and Tour Travel Service is the official travel agent of the Kansas Jayhawks. Whenever the Jayhawks travel, they call Mop and Tour, a full-service agency providing quality pleasure and business travel arrangements anywhere in the world. Mop and Tour has had a worldwide reputation for excellence since 1951. For escorted tours, reservations, cruises, car rentals, and transportation tickets, visit the Mop and Tour office nearest you in Topeka, Lawrence, Columbia, or Kansas City. Mop and Tour, trust them for all your travel needs. their top 20 ranking with victories over Washington and American to enter the Big 8 conference season at 10 and 3. The preseason favorite Missouri brought its high-powered offense to Lawrence to challenge the nation's longest home court winning streak. Kansas got out of the gate early as Milt Newton scored the Jayhawks first eight points. Starting in only his third game of the season in place of Marshall, Newton's performance against the Tigers was only a preview of things to come for the 6'4 junior from Washington, D.C. Kansas preserved a win with clutch free throw shooting in the final moments by hitting 10 of 11 charity tosses. Just when the Jayhawks had appeared to have turned the corner in overcoming early season injuries, bad luck dealt the crimson and blue another setback. Junior college transfer Marvin Branch who had displayed power and promise at center, would be lost for the remainder of the season. For the Jayhawks, that meant the loss of another frontline player and the start of a period in which the Jayhawks lost five of six games. Included in those five defeats were losses to Big 8 opponents, Kansas State and Oklahoma at Allen Fieldhouse. The nation's longest home court winning streak of 55 games was snapped. But as all Jayhawk fans would find out later, the world was indeed round. With NCAA tournament hopes flickering, Kansas took its 12 and 8 mark and 1 and 4 Big 8 record to Oklahoma State. Brown shuffled his card and dealt out the hand of Geldner, Pritchard, Piper, Newton, and Manning. Up against a full house versus the Cowboys, the Jayhawks took the hand on the power of 6 of 6 shooting from three point range. Kansas returned to Allen Fieldhouse with hopes of avenging an earlier loss to Iowa State. Bolstered by a 20-6 start, the Jayhawks flew past the Cyclones, 82-72. It was a display of vintage Danny Manning as the All-American assaulted the Cyclones for 39 points, 7 rebounds, and 7 assists. After picking up another win over Nebraska, the Jayhawks met interstate rival Kansas State in the final meeting between the two rivals at a Hearn Fieldhouse. In a contest full of emotion, the Jayhawks fought to even the score at one win apiece before a national cable television audience. Using patient ball control offense and the stifling defense of Milk Newton, the Jayhawks were poised for the kill. Kevin Pritchard proved that lightning does in fact strike twice as his three-pointer in the waning moments gave Kansas the win. With momentum building, Kansas met its second top 20 team in a row as it hosted Duke to sold out Allen Fieldhouse and a national TV audience. The Jayhawks bolted to a 23-8 lead, but could not withstand the Blue Devil comeback in falling 74-70 in overtime. For Manning, however, it was another showcase of his Player of the Year skills as he burned the Blue Devils for 31 points and 12 rebounds. The load did not get lighter as the Jayhawks met the highly regarded Oklahoma Sooners. The Sooners put their run-and-gun show into high gear, but the Jayhawks stayed close as Manning displayed his dominance. His performance included the shot that gave him the Big 8 Conference all-time scoring record, passing former Sooner great Wayman Tisdale. In the end, the Jayhawks fell short, but the collegiate basketball world was put on notice that Kansas was not about to roll over. 
With teams jockeying for position and a berth in the NCAA tourney, Kansas and Missouri met in a contest which would have a large impact on the Big 8 Conference race. On the road and up against its fourth consecutive top 20 team, the Jayhawks blitzed Missouri in jumping to a 26-8 advantage. Manning had 37 points and 8 rebounds as he erased any doubt as to whom the top player in the Big 8 was. The win over Missouri, coupled with a victory against Colorado on the road, left Kansas with a 19-10 record as it hosted Oklahoma State in the final home game of the year. Allen Fieldhouse was engulfed in a wave of emotion as fans bid farewell to seniors Archie Marshall, Chris Piper, and Danny Manning. as you want. Scotch gets your clothes really clean, so when you put them on, you not only look good, they make you feel great. And with Scotch, you don't have to go out of your way to feel good. There's always a Scotch Fabric Care location nearby. So come on, world. Get as close as you want. It's nice to be near Scotch. At the end of the business day, isn't it nice to know you're getting a little something extra for the price of your room? Lie back and relax in the tropic environment of the Holiday Inn Holodome Indoor Fun Center. We offer that little something extra to get you through the business day. An indoor recreation center, restaurants, executive accommodations, and meeting facilities, all under one roof. The Holiday Inn Holodome. Don't you deserve a little something extra? Your printing says a lot about you. I'm from a very professional company. We're very concerned about our customers. Don't these beautiful pictures make you want to travel with my company? We're creative, dependable, reliable, reasonable, meticulous. Make sure you're saying quality with mainline printing. We'll make your printing talk for you. For 17 years, Packer Plastics has been making quality injection molded products to make your life easier and more enjoyable. The Packerware line comes in a variety of shapes and sizes and a rainbow of colors. Here's just a few of the 101 ways you can use Packerware. Number 32. A tailgate party before the game. Number 63. By the pool. When you want plasticware, get Packerware. Available at local retail stores. Kansas entered the Big 8 Conference Tournament with a 20 and 10 mark, giving the Jayhawks a school first, fifth consecutive 20-win season. But just as Kansas had appeared to overcome the early season bad break, Lady Luck dealt it another blow. In the opening round tournament game against Oklahoma State, Kevin Pritchard went down early with a knee sprain. While the Jayhawks outlasted the Cowboys, an ominous cloud loomed above in the form of the high-flying Kansas State Wildcats. 